first because I got to talk about two babies. All right, now we're on. Well, Wolfman, what are we talking about tonight? Well, now we're on the air. We're on the air to blob my big mouth? Well, before that, uh, I really felt sorry for this girl because she's telling stories, folks, that really just touch me in my soul. It's terrible things. I don't even want to go there. All I can do is listen to Rasta music and just try to um, redeem my soul. But I'm not that kind of person that would do that to someone. What they did to her. I don't know. I just feel like I've been shafted by every last uh, person in my life. You know what? You, and you know what? They don't even want to listen to her. They want her to shut up and not eat. Or they're going to throw me in the psych. Yeah. I just want her to shut up about it. So maybe it's better if she just shuts up. I don't want her to get hurt. Well, uh, like I said to Mike all, all night tonight, this might be one of my last shows because I am bringing up shit to the police that they don't want to know or if they know too much about it, they want me to keep my mouth shut and I'm not ready to keep my mouth shut anymore. No. I don't, it to the you world. don't want to, you want to keep your mouth shut no more. I understand. That. I've been bottled up for far you too long. Bottled up for far too long. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I taught a psychologist once, and she said I fell through the cracks at birth. Tried it on the wine press for way too long, girl. So I'm gonna read something that uh, I wrote as a book to go with my criminal injuries compensation board. Hearing which, with a lawyer, I would have got twenty five thousand. I was awarded awarded twenty four five no, plus my medication for that. two months. You know what is more important than that is I'm with you. That you're going through this with me. No, I'm with you. You're going through this. Nobody with me. is going to hurt you again. I know you're my baby, my honey. You're the only one that would even try to step up for me. I am stepping up. Nobody is going to hurt you. On Nobody my dead cares body. About me. On my dead body. They would have to be my dead body this time. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to take this off course of paranormal, and I'm going to be very honest with everybody. This is a book I wrote, and I don't want to get it published. You'd probably get me a lot of shit, even probably saying some of it would get me on shit on air. But um, I'm going to be very honest about everything. I've got paperwork and paperwork and songs and songs and stuff on here that People never fucking, ever fucking fathom this. Someone would have hold on to their entire lives. It's like a journal. Go ahead. And uh, I, I kept it all together so that I could share it with my family one day. But I have no family to share it with. And, my, and Mike's closest thing I've ever had to someone caring about me is more than a family ever could care about somebody. And I want to read some of this to you. And I don't mean to be a pain in the ass to try to vent somehow by having people hear my stuff. But maybe if they hear it, they'll understand why I uh, am uh, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder really badly. Because I just got my house broke into. The post-traumatic stress disorder is even worse. I movies, hundreds of movies a day, horrible flashbacks horrible nightmares of things that happen it's in my not life. Working. And it won't go away unless I vent and I, I read some of this. my stuff to Wolfman so that he knows what I told I him. Do this. Before with my voice. They stole my computer, so I'm using a shitty one. Oh, yeah, you got to use a shitty Fuck. computer, too. I haven't used my shitty computer. They stole it. Broke in our house. They broke in our house. Um, Fuck. I... I, 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 I I'm speechless. Yeah. Wolfman can explain it to you a little bit more. I found the video of them. I caught them cold red. Well, just I'm caught them cold this, turkey. I can't even fucking do it. Don't even know what to do. I am speechless. I am fucking speechless. Friend of mine at 25 years, his son and his girlfriend broke into my home and ripped me yeah, out I was gonna put all them on of the my show. medication, I actually was gonna another put, reason I'm not doing you know well. What? I was going to put them on the show. And I have an, an interview with these people. And they were supposed to be our friends. And then she comes in, they come in and we have a videotape ripping off her house. When they thought I wasn't here. 
That's and, the, and this person, my so-called friend of 25 years that just ripped me off, was trying to talk me into driving off the cliff because nobody cared about me anyway last Friday. Saturday, Friday, I don't even know. I'm so confused. Not this past Friday, Friday before. He's, he said, why don't you just go drive off a cliff because nobody cares about you anyway. So I wasn't going to let that be the way my life was going to end. I love you guys, Tabby and Juice Producer, for coming out and, and listening. I don't know, Wolfman, whenever you say is ready, because this is... Hey, a- this is real shit, man. They're trying to hurt you. Yeah. I, I wouldn't stick around. I didn't think they were going to hurt you. Do you love me? Would you stick with me if I wasn't in trouble You know at what? All? I, I would stick with anyone that's in trouble. Yeah, but that's if I was man. in no trouble at all, and it was just me, crazy little Yeah, me, but I still love you anyway. Would you still stay yeah, with me? I still stay here. Yeah, I still love you. I don't mean to cause all this drama. I know, but you didn't. Uh, <coughs> the people are using your your problems, and they're using them against you. It's almost like I've been picked on by everybody in this area, and all I want to do is run away again. I moved eighteen times in a year, avoiding people hurting me, and now I feel like I've got to do the same thing all over again. Start running. Well, I'm willing to up and move two no hours away because I'm so scared. To run away because I'm standing my fucking goddamn ground. Nobody is going to hurt you. Wolfman's here. Did you know that uh, Wolfman has actually quit his job now? Because we need are to tell both him that. so. Yes, yes. Be honest. Oh, yeah, I did. I quit my job because I, I'm scared that she's going to get hurt by these people. So that's it. Now it's fight. Or death. That's it. Uh, I've gone into defensive mode, and that's it. Motherfuckers, you're in it. We don't have to do anything. We're not going to hurt anybody. No, we just want I'm, justice I'm for once. I want. I've never seen cops actually do justice. They ju- the cops are working so but hard. You know what? They're oh working my so. God, they're actually their working days. on. We led them on a little bit of game, a little bit of uh, cheese for their fucking mouse chase. So, yeah. They're actually working on the case. I'm, Usually I'm they surprised. give it up really quick. I, I'm actually shocked that the goddamn cops are doing something fucking good for the community here. And and he's I'm so proud of this gentleman. I, I like to give his, his name. Am I allowed? I don't know. Well, thank him. You can thank him. Well, I really like to thank St. Thomas OPP and the Allen Police. Uh, I really like to say that, that I don't want him targeted. So I, I'm scared to say the officer's name because I really don't want him targeted. No, let's not mention no names no more because bad enough we're targeted. It's, I'm already targeted, so I'm scared that he might get targeted over this. No, we don't need to bring up names. You're no. right. Because he's trying to. I just want mess. to thank everybody that's been helping us Anyone over the last week and a half. Thank you over this case. Oh my God, you've been great. You're actually doing your jobs and investigates. Thank you for allowing me to do my own investigation into this. I had a heart of heart feelings. I would find the truth when I went to the store. The gentleman there loves me. I'm a good good uh, patron of his. I go there every day and I'm very nice to his girls and his and, his, and everyone right, there. Let's get some on. What the fuck are we doing? And Put he ended in. up giving me the video surveillance to watch for two and a half hours and I caught them red-handed. I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't even have headphones on. Oh. All right. It's so low. We ain't going down, down with the boom boom. We got... Oh, <laughs> And that's so low. Then you can come coming down yeah, with the so of this low. Before you get some of <laughs> low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a wolf man. I'm back. Wolf man. Boom, boom, boom. This with the so low. Then you came and down, down with your bro. <laughs> reggae rap. Reggae rap. Yeah. Wolf man. Mike started it. Ooh. That's right. 
Reggae rap with the wolf man. We the bum 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 hmm, hit the wolf man. Hoo hoo. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it with the wolf man. Gonna sing, sing with the wolf man. What you sing with the wolf man? You know what? Won't you I'm so sing. glad you're happy, Skid. Won't you sing? One of us got it. Ba 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 won't you sing it, sing it, but the wolf man. You don't always sing that bum, when you're in high school. Sing it, sing boy. it with the wolf man. Bum, 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 bum. Love it. Woo! You like that? I love it, honey. It's a good thing. You're a happy spirit. I'm a sad spirit. I'm showing you good stuff. Okay, you do the positive side of the show tonight, and I'll do the negative side. All right. side. So negative, positive. All right. You just did the positive. Now it's my turn to pow, do a pow, little pow, bit of negative. Pow, with the wolf man. Pow, okay, here pow, I go. Pow, pow. Y'all listen. Dig it with the hey, wolf man. Pow, 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 my pow, turn. Pow. Yeah, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Wolf dig man, it. my turn. I'm gonna read one page at a time. Uh, it's called myself all alone. Uh, always living around when I was a baby until my dad got a full-time job at the Ford Motor Company, July of 1972. My dad, before that, had worked at many odd jobs. He worked as a forklift driver, truck driver, and also worked on a farm when he was young, growing up in Mexico. He never had an opportunity to go to school, so he had never learned how to read or write. He had saved enough money to buy a house. He, my mom, brother, and I moved into Richmond approximately in 1975, where he still resides today. He actually passed away three years ago last month. We moved in, and I really couldn't remember anything yet. My baby baby brother, Jake, was born on November 24, 1973. In 1976, when I turned four, I already had horror stories to tell. I could not say anything as I was threatened with death every day of my young life. My babysitter, Tim, 69-year-old pedophile torturing me, was his ultimate pleasure in life. As I got a little older, approximately five years old, I was watching a TV program that was called Different Strokes. On this particular episode, Arnold and his friends, approximately seven or eight, wanted to go to the bicycle shop to get their bikes repaired. They asked Arnold's dad if they could go. He agreed. This show is actually called The Bicycle Man, and it's from Different Strokes from 1975. The man on the bike was not a good person. He talked to them for a while, then persisted they come back to the room and get some photos taken. He told them that they would become famous. Then he asked them to take their shirts off to see their muscles. As they were jumping on the bed with showing their muscles, they felt very uncomfortable. They began running away home to tell their dad. When they got home, they told his adopted father, who was a multimillionaire, and called the police immediately. The man was arrested and went to jail. Everyone in his family were relieved that nothing worse had happened to the boys. There was a blip at the end of the program that said, If this is happening to you, tell someone like a parent or teacher. When I seen how the program ended, I thought maybe this will stop if I tell someone. I, think he hears I had hoped that this torture would end. I decided I would tell my mom. I said to her in a scared yet loud voice, Hey mom, Tim and I are having sex. My mother quickly came over to me, grabbed me by my hair and drug me up the stairs and said as I was crying and yelling why. I don't she, think he hears us. She threw me into an empty bedroom and slammed the door and told me to stay there. Stabby, can you hear us? Stabby, are you there? I tried to click. Okay, good. Okay. Stabby? I don't understand how it works, but somehow I got Stabby here. Welcome, my brother. Love you, man. I love you, bro. Can he, is he there? Yeah, he's here. Okay, let me finish this then. I decided I would tell my mom. Um, I said to her in a scared yet loud voice, Hey, Mom, Tim and I are having sex. My mother quickly came over and grabbed me by my hair and drug me up the stairs as I cried and was yelling why. She threw me into an empty bedroom and slammed the door and told me to stay there. 
I could hear her talking to Tim on the phone saying we'd better do something or we're both in trouble. I quietly went back up the stairs to hear every heartbeat in my body. She got off the phone, came to the bottom of the stairs and said, you stay home, you stay in that room or else. And she left taking my baby brother with her and I was all alone. I was scared and alone in shock and what had just transpired. I cried for about 45 minutes and then I heard the front door open. Someone continued up the stairs. All of a sudden, I seen a dark shadow in the doorway. He never said anything. I was terrified. The man came over me and grabbed me by the shoulders and began pick, picking me up and began smashing my head against the wall approximately five to seven times. I collapsed on the floor, blood pouring out of the back of my head. Mm -hmm. I can remember three angels taking care of me while I was unconscious. When I came to, it was two days later because I had missed two days of school. There was dry blood in my hair, all over my clothes, and when I tried to talk, nothing would come out. No grunts, no groans, just no grunts. It was grunts and groans, no words. That's it for now, I can't handle it. I'm you know what? Uh, I hope they can hear me. I'm here to protect this girl. Uh, There's a bit much for me. I really can't handle it. He can't it. handle it all alone. But um, he understands I'm suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder really bad today. And they just gave me my needle on Friday. And it's like they almost gave me something that they weren't supposed to give me. I can't do it by myself. Because I'm really going crazy with these videos and movies I'm and everything I'm trying to I help had. this girl. I'm trying to help her. She's being targeted by people. So I thought it was all bullshit. But it's, it, it, it wasn't. It's not bullshit. She's right. Everything is true, 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 true. And, yeah, she has been targeted. It's horrible. See, I even know the person who smashed my head in when I was five. He admitted it to me when I was 27. We were partying in London at a bar. And everybody had passed out in the car except for me and him. He was in the front seat and I was in the back. And it was, I was, we were on the driver's side, and I was right behind him. I could see his face in the mirror. And he said, Chris, i got to tell you something I feel really bad about. And I said, what's that? And he goes, I was the one that smashed your head in when you were five. I got paid $1,000. It's like $15,000 now. And I said, that's okay, Tim. I forgive you. And then he tried to fucking kill me ten years later. And he still tried to get a hold of me. Uh, probably. What, what money? Yeah. I, I connected us. To? Everything. People are here. Talk to you. Okay, they can talk to me. Yeah, I connected my people. Um, I got uh, twenty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Three. I got that three years ago. <laughs> so yeah, right. you can read minds as well. So yeah. You know what? I love it when some other psychic comes on here. It's what I live for. Challenges. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna read more. Yeah, I I know who it is. Yeah, psychic. She can read my mind. She knows it's all true. Yeah, but she's right. Yeah, she's, if I could party, I might not feel so bad, right? Yeah. If I had a fucking pound of fucking weed Didn't that I had here last week, I would be like this. Blah, 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 blah. Right, honey. You got yours. Why are you stewing about it? Party. Live, love. Yeah, but think about it. I have that medicine right now. I don't have that medicine now. I'm going crazy. Yeah, someone ripped her off, so she's pissed. He didn't rip me off. No, I didn't. You would never rip me no, off. No, I said someone ripped you off. And that's why I'm Yeah, pissed. I'm on camera. Come on. We have them on camera stealing my medicine. Yeah, they, we have them on camera. And my medicine, and my medicine. Really like a pound off. of medicine. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Um, we can't help it. Yeah, they stole it from A me. lot more than that. $3,000 with medical, medical marijuana. Medication, yes. Medical marijuana. 
Ontario. Ontario. Um, no, you don't. No, just do that. I don't know. Do I don't go to the streets and find nothing. I grow up for Jesus. myself. I have my own license. Where are you from? Oh, oh my God, okay, that would be yeah, heaven. Yeah. You're that not. We're not heaven. in fucking California, girl. Heaven. There ain't no fucking heaven, willy dilly. No. No, we don't have that here. You no, we what? don't have that. The only person that does it is Marijuana Mama. She's trying to yeah, do Yeah, I know who did it, and I got him on videotape, and I caught him. The store owner. Oh, I, dude, you have no idea. You have no clue. I've known this person 25 years. You don't think I want to beat someone up? You don't think I, Wolfman wants to beat someone up? I know who did it. I caught them and everything. But... I, yeah, but fucking X Man, fucking right, Justice League and X Man on their motherfucking asses. Yeah. Not to fuck with the Wolf Band. You don't fuck with the Wolf Band. Yeah, you're gonna get it now. I don't understand what makes him think that my second Who the fuck I think they can be that who the tough? the fucking dumbass was that broke in? I can't even believe they can be that tough to even think they can mess with me. Yeah. I'm a martial you know what artist. Else I'm a psychic. I'm a, I'm a worldwide psychic and martial artist renowned. The police know me. And an empath. I'm an empath. I, I, yeah, I can walk into a room. The police know what I can do. My cousins left the force because they were shot at by their own goddamn partners. We're that's all, why Wolfman does not want to be. That's a police why I don't want to be a policeman. Yeah, but I'd be the best policeman. Nobody fucks with the wolf band. I'm a psychic and I'm also a martial artist. You don't want to fuck with that. No. Uh, especially the... And my girl... Can I tell you something? I busted the biggest fucking MMPR, ACMPR, rip-off con artist in this fucking town for she five years. She busted the ring, man. She busted the ring. She busted the ring. She did it. We're going to listen to this song now because my girl busted the fucking ring, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Make a, you know what? It's going to be a war. How do I do this? Yeah, well, they, uh, t today was quite the fucking experience because I had a mental breakdown this morning just before the officer showed up. And I called up the OPP complaining about another police department. And then he came thinking I was innocently, I, I was just upset. And I told him why I was upset. So he wrote down the name of the officer that I was complaining about. And he was going to go do the, interview, inter uh, the investigation on these people that robbed us. And he ends up coming back four hours later as I pull in the laneway questioning me about my mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to throw me in the yeah, side. Ready to throw her in the mental hospital. If I wasn't here, I think she'd be gone. I would be. They would have taken me away. Yeah, no, I'm not joking. Me away. If I wasn't There's here, there's nothing wrong with me. They would have taken her to the hospital, and she would have been. No, and then she'd be gone, gone, I would gone, die. gone, gone, gone. They want done, my done. organs. That was it. it. No, she already signed her life away. That uh, that would be it. No, Canada is, is, gee, yeah, Hey, I yeah, was a yes, victim of a rape exactly. and I got thrown in jail and then the psych, I didn't even get now, help. Now, this is the Canadian cartel. 
Do you understand? Our police system is a cartel. They're here to hurt us. We are scared shitless. Me and Wolfman aren't kidding. We can be shot by the police, not a lo- not a, not just the the local pieces of shit that live in this town. The the police, Even the local everyone, police want everyone's us dead. Everyone's scared of the police. Everyone is scared of the police. They have military weapons. We are not allowed to have guns. They have military weapons. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? Sorry. See, I, it's the police. They're actually not investigating a case that I brought up two years ago, hoping that it's going to just slip under the covers and I'll be dead before they have a chance to even investigate it because they know what happened. They know the whole situation. The police actually brought the drugs for me to be, have 70 needles injected into me while 10 men raped me. And they brought the needles to the house that I was at. They showed my aunt where the drugs to get get the drugs to do this. And she left the door unlocked for them to get in, no problem. Okay. Now, now I'm going to step in here and I say this girl, she doesn't even understand anything about electronics or nothing. She found her fucking headphones. She figured out how to make this microphone work. And I just told her to try to do it, and she did it. I'm not a retard. I'm not stupid. I'm. I so yeah, even... she did that on her own. She figured out her headphones by herself and her fucking microphone on this radio show. So yeah, she can carry the show without me. That's how good she is. I didn't even tell her how to do I'll it. I'll tell you another thing. This has got to do with the OPP or the uh, the police here again. Um, I was with my kids one evening. I got uh, my uh, my ex, my baby's father, just stole 180 marijuana plants from me. This is 1993. He. Uh, told everybody at the bar that they could rape me and get away with it because... All right, that's enough. Yes. I'm going to kill someone now. And then I was raped and I had my kids in my apartment when it happened. Honey, that's enough. And then the police wouldn't do anything for me. They were drawing pigs on a piece of paper, the whole statement. No more rape stories. What well, doesn't uh, kill you makes you stronger, you know, right? I, I looked into it, okay. I didn't believe her. I'm the Wolfman Mike. I didn't believe her. But you know what? I, I looked. You know what? They, they fucking did it to her. And now they're really targeting her. And if I'm not here, she's dead. They're going to kill her. They were gonna take over uh, let's take her they already took her keys, they already knew. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Like who would drag their kids out on in the middle of an October snowy night at about twelve thirty in the morning to report a rape that had happened an hour and a half earlier? Who would do that? And she made me walk back home in the snow, crying with my kids, not knowing right, what right. was going on. Oh. No, Elmer, does, this area does not protect and serve. You need to take a break. Go and take a bathroom break. Honey, bathroom break for you. You need to go and take a bathroom break. You need a break off the air. Take just for out. a minute, just for a minute. Yeah, you need to. You understand? Take him out. Take him out. You understand? 
I need to take a break for you a minute. Need to take a break. Put something on. Too much stress for you. Put something on. Something I know. I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Don't worry about it. I'll take over. I'm doing this okay. next. Yeah. Going on with I, my I, story. I, she needs a fucking break. I know she needs a break. I, I'm. I, I'm, I'm reading shaking. Her. I'm so fucked. She's She's fucking shaking. I have been trying to wolf, man. You're this the only person we do the show. that fucking listened to her and believed her. You know what I mean? So yeah. You got, she's got another girl. The last time I went to the hospital was you need 12 break, years girl. ago. Go, go, 10 go. years ago. It's your big time. I'm going to say this really quick. She wants me to put this song on or something. Yeah, please. Last time I was in the hospital was 10 years ago. All right. Yeah, fuck, man. She deserves it. Man. She fucking deserves it. You want a good song? I'll find something nice. I'll find something really nice. My maze. He always makes me happy. You know who that is, right? Yeah, I want to hear that. Do you know who that is? No, I don't know who it is. That's our number one fan. Who's that? Who? I know. Say it. That's it. What the fuck? Yep, that's who it is. I hear this. It's our number one fan. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to put on... Okay, hang on. I I suppose I should put on a... Uh, station identification, right? Let us. Yeah, yeah, son of a bitch. Like, you know, this, this is state. This, this is state of station identification with Wolfman Mike. And we got Liz What the Fuck with us. All right. Hey, marijuana Mama. Yeah, can you dig it? And this is Monster Castle. Paranormal Radio. Can you dig it? Fuck yeah. You know, we're only here for the extreme paranormal people that believe in UFOs. We see UFOs every day. I hate it. I don't ask for this shit. I certainly don't want it. And I hate it. Really sucks. I don't want to be the one that has to be the one fucking dealing with this shit. But I do. Um, Everybody has to come to me because... There's nobody else to go to. So it sucks for everyone. Everyone, everyone. It sucks. Um, that's what we do. So anyway, um, damn it. That's what we do. I want John Love. I really want John Love, though. Bless me to my death. Where is it? Where? I can't get it. Oh my god. Suck. Really sucks. It won't work. Okay. You want me to talk, read while you. Uh, no, it's not working. I can't do it. While you're on freeze, I'll read. No, it's not working. It's, 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 I don't have to read. I can. I can. No, I have, I, I have a computer that was stolen from us. We have us. a computer that we use for the show, yeah, and now no, we're using yeah. crappy old so, pieces of shit. I'm trying to do and this. the one Wolfman bought for me that I didn't know how to use too good, I just that came back to him too. to use, and that was stolen too. So we were fucked. So I had. We have a little chihuahua. I can just sing it. I have a little chihuahua. No, no. There was somebody. No. You know what happened? She left for the night. And I went to my friend's house. And that's when all the shit happens. And they, they, when they thought, thought that, they thought that I was not here, here to look anymore. after her anymore. And then they just came and stole everything off her. Yeah, my 25-year-old friend told me to go drive off a cliff. Because nobody cared about me. It was horrible. No, I...
Well, and I I don't know how the laws in I don't know how the like the laws in Canada go, but I know here you get when you put a child up for adoption, you can completely seal yourself off. But I think that even if you completely seal yourself off, they still get some general information because they have to for medical reasons. They don't do. Oh, that I already Canada. called like, the Toronto for, like, medical testing and things. Like we that, were genetic totally. Medicine. We were gone. Uh, now we're back. Actually, what happened? Uh, actually, we were totally muted. How were we muted? Something happened bad. Oh, well, maybe some people Jewish weren't producer. supposed He's to hear it. Dick. Maybe some people weren't supposed I to hear it. I figured it out, though. I did figure it out. Somebody muted us, and I figured it out. Okay. But never... for were you looking for your parents, and like once again, like I was saying, like United States law... Because you have to do like medical history and things like that, there are some things that can't be sealed from your biological parents. And yeah, everything is because this happened forty six years ago. I called the Toronto adoption. Um, well, I can't think of the whole name of it right now, but I called them, and they business. told me that back then they didn't keep records of all the adoptions. There weren't enough. 